fellow Raiders, Doomers, Crusaders, and Scullies. It's me, Russell, with Rusty Bullwhips, and we're back for another awesome California Jones event at the old Los Angeles Zoo in Griffith Park. So let's have a good fun old time today. Oh, but we're here, as you can see. Everyone is the same. Hey, what we got over here? Uh, still setting up, but in five minutes it's gonna be awesome. So we just filmed. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Morgan Loft, take it away. Well, hello everybody. It's your fearless leader, Morgan Loft here once again for another California Jones event. Uh, a little bit of an update on my gear breakdown. From head to toe, we have a Herbert Johnson Poet in Raider's Turn, made by Michelle, mm -hmm. uh, a lovely, lovely hat maker, and she did such a wonderful mm -hmm. job uh, making this hat for me, and then I had uh, Trent Ryan reshape it to just really fulfill my dream <clears throat> of making this hat. The, the hat that I've always wanted since my childhood. This is a uh, Truck Chase Steel and Jones jacket that uh, was uh, used, uh, the leather is the same batch of leather that was sourced by the references for the actual Truck Chase jacket that they had on hand and took pictures of. So this is, uh, according to Diego, the closest leather that, uh, that he has made or had so far to make an accurate uh, truck chase jacket mm -hmm. and I love it to death and this shirt is not an Azuma it's not a what price glory it's not a West Ed it's a costume based shirt but it was made by the lovely talented and uberly handsome Kirk Brockman and uh, if you want to find a tutorial on how he distresses shirts like this, mm -hmm. find his YouTube channel on Kirk Brockman. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, he, he did a great tutorial on how to, how to distress the shirt and he did a wonderful job. Uh, the bag and the bag strap. Um, this is a vintage 1942 HSA gas mask bag. Uh, and it was an unissued gas mask bag and it's and it just holds up like a dream It's it's absolutely wonderful And the thing that I love about it is that it smells like the haunted mansion <laughs> and it's great This bag strap came from Roger from Spade Archer leather oh. and it's got beautiful grain and distressing and It emulates uh, more of a Cairo Raiders bag strap and uh, again. I love it very very much mm -hmm. The uh, gun holster and the gun are still the same. Um, Franklin Pratt leather, Franklin Pratt leather belt, Frank, um, and that's pretty much it for the Franklin Pratt leather. Um, HFC airsoft revolver, as always. And then the whip is a brand new, doesn't look new anymore, but it's a brand new Raiders 10 foot bull whip made by Steve Townsend of Townsend Handcrafted Whips. Beautiful. And it is a glorious whip and it cracks like a beaut, an absolute beaut. Um, the, the gloves that I'm holding this whip with are uh, Wells Lamont gloves that I distressed mm -hmm. myself. Yeah. If you want to find out uh, how I distressed them, I did it on a show until Saturday, one episode, so uh, keep yeah. your eye out for that. Awesome. And this whip holder is another uh, Spade Archer leather holder. Uh, very similar material as my bag strap, but he, he does a great job distressing it. Wested trousers, hemmed perfectly. Mm -hmm. And uh, these boots are Thursday boots mm -hmm. that I found recently on eBay. These boots are discontinued mm -hmm. and they look very much like a, a 405. And uh, I love them. And it's a great excuse to wear these and get these dirty instead of my actual Waldens. Oh. So, that is it as far as my gear breakdown. I am so excited for today, and I cannot wait to, uh, one, see this on YouTube, and two, uh, see how everybody else uh, is, is gonna be excited. So we got vendors, we got whip sellers, we got prop masters, prop makers, and it's just gonna be an absolutely great time. So, uh, Russ, dude, 
Good to see you. Thank you so much for coming and uh, fortune and glory. You taking a picture or video? Uh, I'm taking a video. <laughs> Oh. Oh, hey, Jacob, good to see you. Good to see you too. How are you feeling? Tired. Alrighty, my friends. Here in front of me is a member of the Colorado Jones cosplay group. This is Mr. Kirk Brackner. Uh, he's going to do a gear breakdown for us, so take it away, man. Alright, um, we'll start from the top. So this is my uh, Advantage kind of minecart style Temple of Doom fedora mm -hmm. with a nice little liner. Mm -hmm. The jacket I'm wearing is my Steelin' Jones. Uh, this one was second hand, so it wasn't made for me, but it fits perfect, it was an eBay find. Diego did a great job on not only making the jacket, but the weathering. Mm -hmm. uh, my bag strap is uh, spade archer leather, put on a Todd's Costumes bag. Mm -hmm. And going in the bag is, I forget the Etsy maker's name, um, but my light up Sankara stone. Ooh. My web belt is just a web belt from Amazon. Ooh. Nothing fancy, but this is my recent, uh, recently made uh, Temple of Doom belt. So it's a Justin's brand belt with a Todd's Costumes Raiders buckle. Mm -hmm. Todd's Costumes whip keeper with my eight foot Joe Strain Ooh. Raiders whip. The pants are uh, costume based from Amazon, mm -hmm. but unfortunately earlier today, uh, I blew out the zipper on them. So they're oh, safety no. pinned together. So I can't do too much action. And uh, in, I, in my, or my holster is also Spade Archer leather. Um, amazing, subtle, wet molding, looks perfect. Inside I have, uh oh, just a cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then lastly, uh, I have my Alden 405s. They're a little pumpkin-y, but the more I wear them, the darker they're getting, so. Uh, and then lastly, but not leastly, um, is right. my, <laughs> yes, <laughs> beauty. How's it going, man? <laughs> Good, how you doing? Doing great. Um, lastly is uh, my costume based shirt. I also have my what price glory if it gets if I if I need to take the jacket off But keep a other shirt on but uh, this is my costume based Temple of Doom shirt that I weathered up Never been washed so it's nice and authentically gross, but that is the gear I'm walking or I'm um, rocking today and uh, thanks Russ <laughs> Yeah, yeah, these are, this is all, all me. Your name and uh, what you got on? Hi, I'm Michelle. So I had my dress made from a seller on Etsy. It goes by Ferdy Worth. Mm -hmm. um, it was custom made. I requested for it to be ripped in this fashion. Um, I got to choose the fabric. It came out to about $300 and I had amazing service. <laughs> it's comfortable. It's made just for me and I love it very much. Awesome. Well, thanks so much. Thank you. So here's Brian Rohrenbacher and he's going to give us a breakdown of his gear. Hey everyone, well we'll start from bottom up. So my classic Thursday Diplomat boots. Mm -hmm. uh, they changed that style so you can't find them anymore. But if you do, I highly recommend them. Yeah. Uh, what, pri what price glory trousers mm -hmm. and same with the shirt. Uh, what belts, cheap one from Amazon. I got my 10 foot stuntman whip from Blake Running of Trinity Whips. Mm -hmm. Uh, an old, uh, not costume base, I'm sorry. I forgot the name of the place. <laughs> sorry. Uh, anyway, Satchel is a pretty old one I've had for a while. A lot of natural stains and dirt on it. So, uh, fortunately, I can't remember who I bought that from. Yeah. And the new addition is the Fedora. This is from Mike at Northwest Hats. I uh, just got this one and he did a beautiful job with it in rabbit fur. So, anyway, if you're looking for a new fedora, I highly recommend him. Alrighty, so this is Andrew Luo. Uh, you've heard his name mentioned on my channel before. You might recognize him as the man who sold me my 9 foot Trinity Crystal Skull. 
So uh, we're gonna do a gear breakdown now and uh, take it away. All right. So um, today I'm sporting my uh, Crystal Skull Ensemble. Nice. Um, I guess we can start with the hat. Uh, this is uh, at Vintage Fedora. Um, Crystal Skull style, obviously. This is based on the, uh, I based it on the opening sequence, the warehouse sequence. Um, just a blank liner uh, to kind of replicate when he drops his hat and picks it back up. And then I weathered it myself just with some Fuller's Earth to get that effect that it does in the movie. Um, and it's it's pure beaver, so it's accurate to the film. Because we're all sticklers for accuracy. Um, let's see, the bag. This is a genuine um, German rucksack. This is the same model that Harrison Ford used in the film. It's even got the HJ patch yeah. that's in the film. I got this from uh, uh, one of our fellow Andy members on Facebook. Um, his name is Fabian, he's based in Germany, so he was able to pick one of these up for me at a really great uh, price. Um, and as old as this bag is, it really hasn't been used. Yeah. So um, he went ahead and waxed the straps for me and made it look um, good as new, so I'm happy with it. Um, jacket this is a uh, this is my new steel and jones um crystal skull jacket in cowhide um this is my most recent recent acquisition and i'm super happy with it i think uh, diego did a wonderful job with the weathering so all the details are there um this bag strap is from uh make it jones from uh, david richardson uh made me this beautiful bag strap um, a genuine uh, Mark 7 British gas mask bag. Um, this one actually sanded down the O-rings uh, for accuracy. Um, and then this is actually a genuine um, uh, Webley holster um, that I custom dyed to make it match as close as possible to the what you see in Crystal Skull, even though you don't really see it that much in the film. Um, and then I actually have a, uh, this is a prop, um, Webley government that I got on eBay uh, a couple years back for a really great price. Um, so I, it doesn't function, but you know, it breaks open. Um, it's pretty sturdy. I think it's made of wood and aluminum. Um, oh, that looks nice. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's the model gun. Yep. And that, that's metal. Uh, I, I believe it's. Yeah, I mean, interrupt. <laughs> you're, you're good, you're good, man. <laughs> um, this shirt is an Azuma shirt. Um, it's a Raider shirt, but it passes for Crystal Skull. Um, the web belt, I uh, custom dyed. Um, I have a genuine um, Willie belt buckle. Just give it more age, because I don't like the, the brand new Stay Bright ones. I think it's too distracting. Um, and then uh, this gun belt, I actually got on Etsy. Um, I forget the name, but it's in the style of Crystal Skull, yeah. it works. Um, this uh, whip holder I got from Taylor Whips, I believe, um, on Facebook. Um, my good friend Russell here has one too. Um, not screen accurate, but I mean, it holds the whip just fine. Um, and speaking of the whip, this is my, uh, actually, also one of my, my newest whip actually, this is uh, from Mario Garza Duenas. Um, he made me this uh, 10 foot uh, Crystal Skull style full whip. I think it's a pretty good replica to the Jack of Whips, at least in my opinion. Um, the pants are just wested, and then my boots, uh, as mentioned in the first video, um, they're just my Alden 405 with the duck lining. Um, you know, they're, they're obviously used, but I mean, that's what you want in a indie costume. So. Hello, Russ. Hello, Russ. Yeah, thank you for out. It's fun. Of course. All right, my friends, 
This is the legendary Trent Rider. Legendary, that's a lot. <laughs> but thank you. You may recognize him from many videos in our Facebook group and just many videos across the interwebs. He is responsible for a lot of indie gear, aficionado nets. I don't know the word. But... That's very kind, Russ. Thank you so much. But we're or if it's a good thing, that is. But we are going to do a gear breakdown with him. Yeah. Let's begin. So, for a gear breakdown here at the California Jones event of October 2021. Very exciting day. This is my David Garrison uh, Beaver Felt. I just got this a few months back. He's still not currently, actually, I correct myself. He is now taking a limited 10 run order. He waited over a year for these felts. Mm -hmm. So, get them while they're hot. Yeah. This is a very good Beaver Felt. It's the proper color. Mm -hmm. And this one has a uh, no Raiders turn to it. Mm -hmm. So, it's a Hawaii style. Yeah. And I really like it. Jacket is a Kelso Relic Hunter, otherwise known as a Raiders, and striated lambskin. I'll just do a 360 for you, Russ. Beautiful. I don't think anyone else here has a Kelso. Even uh, Brian has a couple, but he's like, no, nah, you wear yours, I'll just wear a steel wing <laughs> <laughs> So this is probably my everyday jacket. It's mm -hmm. very good, probably my best fitting, honestly. Yeah. I have so many other jackets, and this one just takes cake. Shirt is a What Price Glory standard fit. Uh, Gareth Ortiz Timpson, I hope that's his last name, and his girlfriend went ahead and replaced the buttons for me to lift the part. Bag strap is from Kyle Nibbling. The bag, if I recall, is a WG. Yes, WG. I got that from Kyle too. He probably has somebody in a warehouse snag it for me. Um, and then for the rigging, this is a Justin brand. You can get this at a Cavender's, Boot Barn, uh, stores like that. And then I just went ahead and dyed it and gave it a little bit of the decorative edging here on both sides. I also punched more holes to give it the proper, you know, gunslinger kind of fit. The holster is a Spade Arch 11. This is the first right-handed holster that Roger ever made. And somehow he was crazy enough to let me buy it from him. On the inside, we got a lovely HG131 much like a Tanaka. Uh, on the other side, my whip holder is one that I haven't used yet. Let me get this up before it falls. Uh, this is a Brian Lalonde that I got second hand from Alex Hogan. Nice little patina on that. Um, oh, and the buckles are also from Roger. Because what I like about these belts is you could switch the buckles and the keeper. Pants are a recent pair of what price glories. Uh, it's got kind of the proper coloring to it. And then one of my most prized pieces of footwear are my Alden 403s. Oh, I got these on eBay at half the price. I want an auction. So, trying out some new gear. I don't think I've ever really done this exact getup. Oh, and then how can I forget this? Russ, how can you let me forget? Wow. Okay, this is my Steve Townsend handcrafted bullwhip. Um, pretty much modeled identically to the stunt whips at Walt Disney World, because him and Blake used to make those. I got this three months ago in natural tan, and it looks very old already. I just used it a ton. Uh, it's very well broken in, lots of conditioner, as you can see. I really like it. This is my everyday whip. If I'm ever going to uh, take on the career of an archaeologist who is crazy enough to carry that on his belt, this would be fine. Nice. Very trusty old friend. Oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm so good. Yeah. It was funny, I was actually, it was back in 2017, I think it was, I was seeing a trainer. And I told him, I was like, I want to get Go ahead, Kirk. All right. Come on, Ruby. <laughs> so, uh, say your name and what gear do you got on today? How we doing? Matt Wacker here. This is my Last Crusade outfit. Mm -hmm. I've got the Steel and Jones Smithsonian jacket. Mm -hmm. Just a cheap old uh, Walmart tie, the black tie for mm -hmm. the formal look. These are my What Price Glory pants. These are just some J. Crew boots I'm trying to break in. 
and this is my uh, Herbert Johnson, which is in the Raiders bash for my giant dome that sets upon my shoulders, my 62 <laughs> centimeter head. Uh, everything else, I think, is from Todd's, the satchel, uh, this whip, my primary whip. More of a prop whip, but it does yeah. crack well. So, And then everything else, uh, this is screen capped leather uh, holster yeah. and the weapon belt, yeah. and then a Todd's uh, canvas belt. Nice. It costs like 15 <laughs> 10 bucks. <laughs> where you don't want to go. You don't wanna go. Beautiful. And I'm also selling the the last yeah. six flags here. Thank you. 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 amazing turnout and I am I'm just so blessed on behalf of everybody here and you know I, I I can't express how like you know we all have our individual stories we all have our reasons why we do this we all have our like sort of inciting incident you know um, because more more often than not we've we found each other through Facebook through YouTube through Instagram and vlogs and everything like that and you know, so to say that I'm starstruck to see all of you is, is, is a complete understatement. And I'm just so very honored to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, go ahead. That is a clapable moment. Please clap. But applause, applause. I've also had, I've also had the absolute pleasure um, of meeting Kirk Brockman, who is from the Colorado Joneses. Ah. And uh, Kirk, I remember seeing your Peters Brothers video, your review, because I was trying to look for a hat back in 2012. And I had no idea who you were. I had no idea, like, you know, what you were about and everything like that. I was just like, okay, this, this, this dude is it's an exciting dude, and, he, and he's really, you know, really uh, excited about a new fedora. And that kind of like was the inciting incident of like, okay, you know, there are people out there that are serious about this, about this community, about this, about this, uh, you know, cosplay adventure, as it were. Um, and come here, Kirk. So we did this with Trent last time. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> but, you know, it's just amazing that, you know, people from other states and, and other walks of life across the across California um, find the value in being together. And 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 basically what this is, is, you know, without getting religious, it's a fellowship. You know, we we share a common bond. We share a common goal and uh, we support each other. And uh, I'm sure yeah, obviously, you know, the park rangers supported us too, so that was great. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it was, it's moments like those that really make organizing these events and, and, and buying the hundreds of dollars worth of gear, thousands of dollars worth of gear, <laughs> worth it. Um, but we're all members of California Jones, and even when we have people from out of state, they're always going to be members of California Jones. So, Kirk... It is my honor and our honor to bestow you a California Jones Honorary Membership. Aww. Speech! Speech! Speech, Bilbo! Oh, man. Um, well, some of you have heard me say this before. This community is so much more than just cosplay. Um, I think to get to this point, there's a lot of vetting processes people go through. You know, maybe it's a Halloween costume and they, oh yeah, I like Indiana Jones, I have a jacket and a hat, 
And then they take it to the next level and they have a favorite scene or a favorite movie and then they start putting it together, they get a whip, they need to learn how to crack whips. There's so many things, um, you know, they have a, a big head size or they have, you know, special thing like all these things. There's so many vetting processes that in life you try to find friends that, you know, you have common interests and things like that. And, I think every person standing here today and that I've met that I've gotten to this point, it's it's friendship made easy. You know, like all of us, we're, we're friends, like Morgan says, wherever Morgan, Hi. <laughs> like Morgan says, we're all friends, we just hadn't met yet. And that's what all of this means to me. Like, I remember growing up, there was an episode of Happy Days where Fonzie's getting kicked out of town and they all show up dressed like Fonzie exactly. And I was like, man, it'd be so amazing if one day I could get three or four Indiana Joneses together. Like, how great would that be? And look at this, look at, look at where we are. And every single person I've talked to today has the same attitude. We're all here for the same thing. And it's friendship made easy. We all made it through those vetting processes, that selection that got us here. And you're all amazing people. And I just feel so welcomed and proud to be a California Jones on our <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have met this man before. This is one of the co-founders of the Colo uh, Colo California Jones. Oh my God! That's all good. The California Jones Cosplay Group. This is Mr. Nathan Smith Finley. I got better gear on this time. Yes, uh, you know, I, oh, sorry. <laughs> oh no, I was oh. just gonna say I didn't didn't uh, just grab what was ever in my closet. <laughs> so well, gear uh, breakdown. Yes. For Russell, um, I've got on my head my Tognarelli. Yes. Uh, so Andrea Tognarelli or Tognarelli Vintage Fedoras. Last Crusade with a slightly, very slightly uh, shorter brim. I love this hat because it has a lot of the qualities of a Last Crusade that I just adore, especially in the brim, the way that it flanges, just fantastic. Um, I've got my Cooper Sportswear vintage Indiana Jones jacket that got a very nice, and I mean very nice, um, tub of brown Picard added to it due to the uh, wonderful works of Mr. Trent Ryan who's over there. Uh, underneath I've got my What Price Glory indie shirt, very standard. Nice black tie because I'm doing Last Crusade and you can't you can't properly do Last Crusade unless you got the tie. Um, I've just got some, oh, my leather belt is an Amazon find. Awesome. Just, I think I spent $20 on this. Nice. Web belt I got at a army surplus store. There we go. My whip is a vintage strain. Mm -hmm. uh, the whip Die. holder is a replica. <laughs> is a replica <laughs> crease and corral holster made by Trent Ryan. Mm -hmm. um, I've got a Webley holster. I don't know who made this, mm -hmm. um, but it was sold to me by Trent Ryan. Mm -hmm. I've got my close enough pants, and then I've got my new like Bostonian. <laughs> close enough boots and I love these things they are so freaking comfortable um, I just got today a new Raiders hat it's a Federator and I'm super excited to put that with my Raiders gear uh, so this bag I've got is a vintage Mark 7 an eBay find of all things a uh, person selling it was marking it as a World War One gas mask bag I knew from the strap and just from the very uh, memorable design that it was not so I picked it up mm -hmm. and uh, yeah I love this this is just like now my everyday carry bag because this is some of the toughest canvas I've ever had the pleasure of having around my waist awesome thanks thank you good morning Alrighty, I'm back with Kirk. Um, what Kirk has here is a legendary bullwhip. Uh, take it away, Kirk. I'll let you explain it. All right, so this whip was actually my very first, I guess, legit indie whip. 
Um, it's a David Morgan made sometime in the early 2000s. Uh, I actually got this with second hand uh, from someone selling it on eBay who was just downsizing their collection. Um, and I think they said they had never cracked it or maybe only cracked it once or twice. So it was in excellent condition when I got it. It's a, it's a eight foot, 12 flat, mm -hmm. um, you know, indie bullwhip. Um, and I'd had it for a few years when um, my family rescued a golden retriever puppy who found it and unfortunately uh, ate the heel knot. And you can actually see a little bit of the, the chewed up bits on there still. Um, and so it just sat on my shelf for years, all chewed up, not getting used. Um, when, I don't know where he went, but um, I ended up reaching out to Paul Nolan of uh, Midwest Whips who uh, fixed it for me. He uh, fixed up the heel knot, put a new wrist loop, and he actually uh, did a fall replacement on it. So it gave this whip some new life, and yeah. now it's one of my favorite whips. Go ahead and crack it. So, one of my all-time favorite whips, and it's such a, a cool thing to have a whip actually made by David Morgan, not just the company, but the man himself, mm -hmm. you know, did this one. And so it's a, it's one of my prized possessions. Awesome. And I love being able to share it with all of you guys. Awesome. Alrighty, so I'm here with Richard Cook. He's our resident Henry Jones Senior cosplayer. Uh, take it away, just uh, give us a quick look. Yeah, I think I'll start with the hat. And the hat was custom made by a woman on Etsy named Cherry Pat Hats. And it's sourced, uh, recycled, or upcycled from a vintage Harris Tweed jacket. And then here's the original Harris Tweed label in there. In the yeah, bow tie yeah. I had to have made. I could have found a vintage tie that was close. I've still not found one that's exactly the same. The suit was made by a company called yeah. Studio Suits in Mumbai. So it has a ticket pocket, it has no vent, and so forth, and it's got the accurate pockets. It's got this distinctive shape uh, pen, which I found on eBay, and then you have a pocket watch. The thing about the pocket watch is on the biplane scene, it's an open face watch like this. On the motorcycle sidecar scene, it's a hunter case that opens up, so you have two different watches. And then the shoes are very popular back then. They're called Punch Cap Oxfords, and the color that they called Oxblood back then. Oh, and the glasses are rimless. Oh. He wears uh, rimless glasses. And these are original ones from the 1930s that I found on eBay for $6. You're good. <laughs> this is for when you want to get that Nazi. Yeah. Fly over there. All right. He's running away. He's running away. Just wait. <laughs> Look at that. Oh. Woo! I'm just gonna do it like a crack now. Look at this thing. Where'd you where'd you get this thing? I got this on Etsy. Wow. Oh. Yep.
stiff like a cowboy hat when I first got it. Now feel it. Wow. Dude, the gear is and amazing. Is, Good thank to you. see this in person. And this thank is, uh, is this a superior felt? Uh, yeah. What is, yeah. What is, is this? this? Nice. That's just a Harrison that I beat the living crap out Wait, of. Wait, from 80 Vintage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, state your name and uh, what gear are you rocking? Hi, my name is Jacob Bassett. Um, my hat, it is an Adventure Built Legacy uh, Crystal Skull by John Penman. I got that pretty recently. It was like Back in June, I think. Mm. This is my brand new Steel and Jones Crystal Skull jacket and their new chocolate cowhide. Uh, my back strap and the whip holder are both made by mm. Kyle Nibbling, but it goes by Eric Kyle on Facebook. Mm. Really good products. Just takes a little bit to ship, but I mean, it's good quality. Um, my holster is made by Reset Old and New Leather. Um, he was very cooperative. This is his very first um, Webley style holster, and I really like it. Yeah. Uh, this is a semi modded, um, what is it? It's a Webley Airsoft by, I'm not sure what the company it was, but I got it from like the Airsoft Mega Store online. Uh, my belt right here is just like a normal web belt. Yeah. I dyed it a little bit to make it a bit more accurate to Crystal Skull color based on suggestion of Andrew Newell. Uh, the shirt. That is a 2020 first run Azuma shirt. Um, what else? This is a What Price Glory belt, um, the Raider style. I just took off the little silver bit here to make it closer to Crystal Skull. Yeah. Um, this is my brand new guy just this week, Mario Garza Duenas whip, um, Crystal Skull, 10 feet, uh, 12 plat. He was very accommodating and very helpful trying to get all the specs I wanted, and I'm very grateful for that. As for the pants, these are standard Wested. And then the boots, they're Alden 405s that I got secondhand a while ago. And the bag, oh yeah. the bag itself is just standard um, Mark 7 by Wested. Well, from Wested, but yeah, I think that's about it. Awesome. Thanks, Jacob. Thank you. How you feeling, Tori? How you feeling? Oh, <laughs> Just um, doing, doing fine. Uh -huh. uh, tired today, you know? Uh -huh. uh, and especially after all, all the whip cracking and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I think I just got Isaac's thing into a very bad <laughs> which sucks, but that's what happens. Look up it. How you feeling, Matt? Feel good. Hmm? Getting better at this. Nice. I think I'm getting better. <laughs> I don't know. I can't really tell. You tell me. Let's get some stuff here, Trent. Do your thing. <laughs> I love that body wrap that you do. I just... I've kind of learned to be more gentle with other people. <laughs> it's, I don't know, everybody has different rules about their own stuff, so it's like, I don't know, they'll, they'll tell you if they, if they need to be gentle or whatever, you know? I miss what I was It's not a whole lot of whips that I can do arrowheads. I mean, that was probably... Hello? Coming to blow up the arc, Renee. Gonna blow up the arc, Renee. How'd you get up there? Bend over and I'll show you. Hey! I'm fine with that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've gone skydiving before. I'm fine. Okay. 
Yeah. How do we get the I park mean, rangers to come back? Well, <laughs> uh, Kirk, how are you feeling? <laughs> Hard to describe, man. Like, it's surreal. I keep pitching myself. I'm afraid I'm going to wake up and this was all a dream. But, yeah, it's amazing. That's the only word I have. It's, it's overused, but it's the only word to describe it. It's just amazing. Just sit over up. about two feet to your yeah. right. Yeah, right. <laughs> I can do right one foot right 11 there. inches, but not 12. <laughs> Try 24. A little that way! Well, somebody take pictures, because I might die. <laughs> Quick update, Trent. Uh, how are you feeling? <laughs> I am thirsty. I am sweaty, but I can't complain. Yeah. This has been very fun. Glad to be out here in California again. Glad yeah. to meet you, Russ, and yeah. glad to be a part of such a wonderful uh, cosplay community. That's really all I have to say about it. Well said, brother. Alrighty, so I am standing here with Brian Long, another one of the co-founders of the California Jones Cosplay Group. Uh, we'll do a gear breakdown. Uh, what's your hat? This actually is a is a very, very, very lovely Jimmy Pierce. The thing I love about this hat the most is it's very creamy. And if you look earlier in the day, you can see the different colorations of the felt. It almost looks like it's distressed, but it is not. And the most beautiful part about this hat is that beautiful liner. And this is blue. It's gorgeous. Wow. <laughs> Uh, let's Thank do, you, Jimmy. Let's do your, uh, your jacket. What's your jacket? This jacket is a Steel and Jones truck chase. Huh. Um, I acquired this second hand. Um, the reason I did is because it was extremely weathered and I felt the need to to get it because honestly, to weather your own jacket at this part, <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I'm quite there yet. <laughs> yeah. But I love it. Yeah. Uh, your shirt? Shirt is in Azuma. Um, in my opinion, it does not get any better for Raiders other than Azuma. Um, color, sweat, really, really stands out on this shirt. And your satchel and your back strap? This is an original. Um, I think I got this in What Price Glory years ago. It's very faded. Um, so it's almost time for replacement before it gets too thrashed. 
Uh, the strap itself is a Todd's costume, again from years ago. Belt, Todd's. Belt, Todd's. This is a Mario, I call it the Mario. Uh, Garcia Duenas. Raider style. Oh, lovely patina. Uh, the whip holder is a Joe Strain. Um, I like the double wrap whip. Definitely works a lot better to keep your whip in place while you're adventuring. Awesome. Uh, you're, did you do the holster? Yeah, did you do the holster yet? No. Oh. This is an old, rare, vintage adventure build. Ooh. Never even seen one since. Um, it's just gorgeous. And actually, this is the same sort of logic I use. And inside, again, Todd's Costumes was doing a, basically a run of these of about 24. I happened to be lucky enough to snake one. Pants are Westons. Again, very old. So every ones I see are a different color. So it's odd to have kind of this color because really no one else has this. Um, yeah. And your shoot, your boots. Boots are Alden 403s. With the Commando Soul, I know it's not screen accurate, but I do appreciate it. Well, thanks so much, Brian. Thank you very much. What haven't I done? Is there anything you, what, like I can't recall? Just Oh, just do it. <laughs> Oh, I So we have a chain whip from the Elias and Whip Company. A scary whip. Oh man, that makes me sick. The entire time I was like, it's fucking Christian. Okay.
Well, Morgan, it's been a very eventful and one heck of a day. Um, uh, do you have any words for um, any of our cosplay community or anyone that wants to join us or any just any final words? All you got to do is just follow California Jones 81 on Instagram or uh, look us up on Facebook. Um, we also have a website. It's a very long URL, so I will uh, just copy and paste the URL for everybody to share. Um, it is just an absolute pleasure to, to have everybody here and uh, share like-minded passions and if you are of the same like-minded passion or if you're new to the, to the cosplay community and you want to learn more or you want to uh, join us for an event and uh, kind of build your gear up that way, you are always welcome. The door is always open. It's all about inclusivity and positivity. So we hope to see you at the next event. Nice, well said.